We're finally gonna get a duel. 45 minutes in. <laughs> we're getting there. I mean, this is a longer let's play. If no, if we're not... Awesome. Hi. Anyway, so it's a bit of a running joke that um, you're gonna wake up and a character's gonna be talking to you. Of course, these are the ones that you have a max art heart with. Um, a lot of them say the door was just open. Some of them break in deliberately. Sherry. <clears throat> but uh, yep. off, <laughs> otherwise, it's just kind of funny to think about. Looking for Jack. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, they have jobs now, and Jack is a fucking idiot now. And Crow <sighs> has to be the one to keep him in line. It's funny and also a little bit sad because you think that the former top fucking idol of idol, like celebrity of the city would be able to get jobs easily as even just like appearance gigs but no like you can't hold down shit it's like did we all just suffer amnesia what the hell happened here so the thing with that is that a lot of rewrites had to be made not because of the reasons you're thinking but because originally 5ds was, was only planned to end at dark signers 64 episodes in but that was one some of the highest ratings that Yu-Gi-Oh ever got so they had to keep it going and that was why they had 30 episodes of filler before the before the World Racing Grand Prix started, because they needed some buffer time to actually write a real plot. Yeah, I can I can definitely believe that because oopsie, we accidentally made the single best arc in the in Yuka anime since Or Calcos probably? Yeah, I think yeah. it's I think it's not much of a stretch to say. Yes. Alright, so one thing we gotta say, do not jump do not immediately enter the area where you're gonna be having an event with your partner. As soon as you do that, you start to duel. And here's the thing, you can't change the deck you have when you go into there on beforehand. So you wanna change your deck before. This game's got some jank, I, a lot of bad design decisions I don't like, but they are few and far between, but they do mostly concern progression. This is a hallmark of older games. You gotta get you uh you gotta gatekeep progress by using artificial difficulty like your uh, your partner's being bad or not having the things <laughs> they need. Yeah, pretty much. Also I'm gonna say, um when you need if you use base PS PPS is PP, um the text default is like some weird font they just throw in and the the text can warp pretty hard. Now I paid a few bucks to get gold because they do good work and I support them. Um, they actually do load the proper text in, so it doesn't look fucking weird. Although, I guess, with the kerneling here, uh, it could have been better. I've seen worse. No, oh, I've seen much worse. Alright, Jack, what's going on here? <laughs> oh, he's just off playing with Lilo. Leo. <laughs> I said Lilo, I know there. Bob can't talk very well sometimes. I love that movie. It was alright. I haven't watched it fucking forever. Anyway, so unfortunate running meme because he was so well characterized, especially with Carly at the end of Dark Signers. Uh, Jack's having trouble pinning down a job, and he's often off goofing off. And it's like, hmm, you had something good, and you're not doing amazingly with it right now, guys. But he does, he does do some good things later on in uh, the Grand Prix arc. So I guess I can't be too mad, but still, it's like eh, a little bit cringe. Not the best decisions, but all right, we're playing a best comedy act. It's all right, we can flush him out that way. He recovers eventually, but he becomes a complete fucking joke for the next twenty episodes. And oh yeah. Honestly, it's ugh. There are some times that are kind of funny where him and Crow fall off of a table, and J Crow's like, "Don't move, otherwise you might actually be paralyzed." And he's just sitting horizontally on the floor like he's still sitting in a chair drinking tea it's fucking great sometimes there's really good comedy out of it even if we had to sacrifice <laughs> some good character progression to get there but yeah <laughs> anyway yes unfortunately guys sorry sometimes these tech these uh exchanges can go a little bit long so i will be keeping the text on screen for a certain period of time for everyone to read it if they want to and we will talk, of course, I've already done a full practice run. You've already destroyed this game before, obviously. So we'll have things to talk about, but we'll be fast forwarding for time's sake, you know? Yeah, honestly, I would set the game to pretty much always be at, at least double speed because going double speed, walking around and whatnot, it doesn't really do anything. Yeah, pretty much. By the way, we I'll be keeping duels at regular speed for a little bit. 
but we will be going fast before long. Also, yes, the crow model is very clean. Holy shit. Hey, you do run Mystic Plasma Zone. Honestly, Hell I yeah. have it in my deck too. It's pretty good. Also, not the animations for the background field spells are so good. They took those out after five or six. And it was after never the six, same again. Yeah, it wasn't six. They did have animations for Quasar Dragon, but they were gone for special. Which, I mean, I get it. You did skip in the entirety of Zexal, so you couldn't just add in a few new ones. But, yeah. Yeah, special was definitely made on a bit of, bit of a shoestring budget, not gonna lie. A budget of $14 and a hot dog. Practically. That game makes me sad. It's just set down two to... Yeah, yeah, the yeah, AI also he... starts, off, starts off incompetent. He put out, he put out two tuners just left them there sitting and I've one of them is like 100 attack card. points what the fuck while well, you control this face up attack position monster you, do, you flip fire damage okay funny well anyway we've already won because um hey check out what i drew all right so here's one of the magical <sighs> things about this oh he's set book of these that book of moon no uh anti-reverse that's a iffy card so here's the one of the fun things about this game. Uh, Tag Duels. Tag Duels also recently got added to Master Duel. Funny that. Kind of digs this video a little bit. Um, Tag Duels are simultaneously really fun and also ultra annoying. It's unfortunate how much how much of a pain in the ass they can be. So on the one hand, they are super interactive and really warp how you play the game. Uh, let's add Shora and let's add Bora. I didn't realize those rhyme. Holy fuck. Classic combo. Yep. Yeah, we're just going right to Armor Master because I don't believe Jack has an out for Armor Master. I really doubt it. Actually, wait. Not we can... in the slightest. Wait. Can we not? Oh, Va fucking Vayu can't be yep. synchro summoned out. Uh, can't synchro summon out. Think. Uh, actually, I, was... uh, I did forget we still have um, Gale. Actually, we could probably almost OTK from here. Funny enough. Almost. Not. Nah, it's too much. Mm. I will set you. I will go to attack. Because this will do a good amount of damage. What do you do? That's fine. <laughs> Wait. No, that's, that's cool. That's fine. Whatever. Anyway, so shout out to this one time Bailey was mentioning in chat also that really threw me off my game. It's the fact that uh, Jack Atlas in subs also happens to be voiced by... Uh, who was it? Dragon Ball Z Yamcha, I think? Uh, let me check. I don't know offhand. There's one that he loves memeing a lot. But I don't believe it's the same one this time. Alright, so we've... Oh, did we just open it? It's the fucking thought. No, I won't get that battle protection. I will be a little bit responsible. Mickey Mouse. Somewhat. Oh, Mickey Mouse. Right, that was a funny one, which I will admit is kind of hilarious. Hey, Summon Animations, how are you doing today? Mickey Mouse, Iori. Uh, uh, yeah, Mickey Mouse and Iori are the... Oh, and uh, the, the Van from Gunsword. His oh, favorite. Yeah, that, that would do it. Well, which, which, I mean, I do not blame him for at all. All right. Do the we... one... The other one he loves memeing is that I think it's the Japanese voice of Donald mm. Duck is the voice of Beerus. Emilia that is pretty funny. Well, let's return. You can gain. Oh, that's fine. All right. Are you gonna swing with that card? Nope. Okay, I guess not. Funny. You can crow. Delta. And Delta Crow actually was a good card for the time because you know you're gonna spam and you're gonna do it very easily. Oh, and I don't so think it's, basi it's basically a feather duster if you have if you have at least three monsters. Oh, we don't have uh, Crow on the field right now. We only have um... Delta Crow. What's Delta Crow? Yeah. Oh, Delta Crow, that okay. I was thinking of Anti Reverse. Oops, oops, sorry. Delta Crow Anti Reverse is one card. It has, it's uh, there's a dash in between them. Right. Sorry, I was only reading Anti Reverse there. But even then, it's still fine. So again, that could be the fun part of t of tag duels. Like sometimes they'll come to your turn, and your partner, if they're running similar cards, has already set up the field for you, so you can just immediately go off king. But so other times you can have really dumb AR partners who will tribute 
off your two summon synchro monsters for a blue eyes white dragon. Yes, this has happened to me before. God damn. Yeah, you gotta make sure you've got the AI set to being smart or on one of the good decks because they will screw up your plans if you're not coordinated. Yeah, I will say um, it is kind of funny running a magician deck parallel to Yugi because he actually does synergize off of you pretty well in Tag Force Special. There are some times where it can be pretty fun, other times it's just like, eh. And another issue about the tag duels, namely in this time period, is that um, a lot of back row, okay, back row stun is still seen as viable from Konami and seen as healthy for the game. Um, a lot of back row yep. removal spells like MST, Heavy Storm are still, still at one. So when you're finding two stun decks at the same time, it can get kind of bad. I am not a fan. Yep. Or know. though, the tag uh, the tag gimmick wasn't meant for the story, or rather, it was used as a neat mechanic in the story. The primary driving driving force was for was for multiplayer because you know this is a handheld. Yeah. And you and your friends are expected to have four to fifteen PSPs. And Probably I had the authentic, second one. That's kind of funny. And I had that authentic experience back in the day of actually playing this game with three other friends and actually doing uh, four-player duels together the same way you would do uh, four-player Pokemon. <laughs> How about that? Anyway, so Carly's yeah. turning out to be our second story of the playthrough. I honestly did not expect that. Anyway, so that last story, we did kind of skim over it, but it's basically, yeah, Jack... Uh, Crow trying to set Jack straight and actually trying to get him to pin down a full-time job when Jack is doing a terrible job of it because XD lol. Uh, he did see the storm off and was like, I'm going to better myself. So good on you, King. You go for it. See if you follow up on that. Yeah, we'll, we'll go back to you there, hopefully. Yeah, but yeah, one of the unfortunate things is that you can often run into like fucking double mirror force considering the, game, the cards at one, you'll sometimes like reach an encounter two of it and it's just like, eh. This isn't really fun. Anyway, anything around here? I doubt it. <laughs> if only. Always, always Amazon cards. Yeah. All right. So, fortune ladies. Unfortunately, I don't really have anything made that can synergize too well with that. But I was watching some more history of Jank the other day. And I didn't realize there was a uh, psychic FTK deck. I should invest in that at some point in time. Alright, who are we going with? Uh, we're gonna go with... Considering that, um, Future Visions does stunt your your normal summon, we can't go with double X savers. I'm no. thinking maybe... You know what, Lightsworns. Fuck it, let's go Lightsworns. I was gonna say Cyber Dragon, because Cyber Dragon is a special summon, not a normal summon, so it wouldn't be affected by Future Visions. That, too, is not a bad idea. Also, it should have should saved. I don't think we need to worry about that. It's too early in the game to worry about that. Oh, right. One th one warning about this, too. When you go into a battle, you if you try to leave the battle because you didn't pick a good deck and you're getting railroaded, uh, it boots you back to the menu when you try it back out, and it doesn't save your progress. So, <laughs> you gotta be very careful about that. Yeah. I have been set back a good hour from that one time, and that was not fun. Save often, kids. It's a handheld. Yeah, so Carly's story here is that she's trying to gather information on sector security because she's suspicious some bad things are going down, which, I mean, have you seen Lazar? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> There's always some bad shit going down. It's and not his fault this time. Not necessarily, but in this case, he is being turned into a whipping boy by three cyborgs, so, you know, take it for what you will. Three cyber Italians. <laughs> yep, pretty much. Oh, what is happening here? It's funny how we can show some, how we can show an angel, but uh, so long as we don't call it an angel. Yep. Oh wait, this was an actual thing that happened in the anime too between Crow and Lazar. What happened here? Fuck. They had a duel in Dark Signers. Lazar was hanging around uh, Satellite for some reason. Crow dueled him because he thought he was a Dark Signer. Oh right. Lazar yeah. dueled Crow. Lazar dueled Crow because Lazar thought Crow was a Dark Signer. And then uh, Crow did the did the movie thing where he hid in, where he hid in the fridge. <laughs> right. That that's still very funny in hindsight, considering I'm 
didn't you say that originally Crow was supposed to be killed off with that massive explosion, but um, popularity was like, eh, let's keep him around, why not? Yeah, something like that. The stories have gotten muddled over the years, but the thing about Crow being the Darksinder boss, that was apparently never true. Yeah, that sounds a little bit out there. Funny, but out there. Him sticking around because of popularity, that is true. His role in the story was that he was meant to be a minor character in the end, not as important as he was. Yeah, but you know, you actually did create one of the more fleshed out, likable characters in the show with the iconic design, so you know. Oops. I don't remember if you find it out during 5Ds or if it's in his cameo in Arc 5, but you eventually find out that Lazar actually has a wife and a baby. Oh no, you do find out about that in 5Ds. It's when he's being interrogated about what Iliaster is. Ah. Anyway, worth pointing out that, yeah, her, uh, Carly's chest is massive in this game. Again, not complaining, it's just kind of weird. Believe me, I noticed. It's hard not to, yeah. So other things about attack duels, you can't see your partner's hand. I feel like that should probably have been a thing, but it's not, so it is what it is. Uh, you can see cards they set, you can see card. you share one graveyard, but you can't see what they have in their deck either, so... It's sort of like Yugi switching between himself and, um, Yami Yugi in order to face Pegasus that one time. But you can actually see what your set cards are, in a sort of roundabout analogy, I guess. Oh. Well, oh, that's how that's how actual tag duels work. What the hell? Oh, I. I oh, two okay. spell cards. Okay. Gee, Carly, why does Konami let you have two spell cards? Build spells. That's what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> God, I missed the trippy background. Yeah, no, seriously, the amount of love and effort that was put from Konami into. By the way, I'm pretty sure this was developed in house of Konami, not just to be specific. Like, the amount of yeah. det attention to detail that went into these cards back when it was just like a 4,000 card pool was fucking nice. I know 4,000 still sounds like a lot, but there's not as many field spells, there's not as many, like, boss monsters to really worry about, so it was just cool back then. Anyway, for, a for, a point of, for a point of comparison, in, in, as of late 2022, we currently have 12,000 cards. Yeah, something like that. Now, I hated to rain your parade, Carly, but I do kind of need to activate this right now. Anyway, what do we got? Uh, slip of fortune. Oh my god, you're using the Light Sworn Field spell. No one I know, in right? real life has has ever done that ever. I know. Uh, I only put it in here because I couldn't fit in I couldn't use three Necro Gardeners in this deck, so I had to fit in something as filler. And frankly, it does kind of work. Anyway, true nade. I swear this deck this card was illegal at one point in time, but I guess not. It was. It just happened later. Oops. I also put that back in my hand, it's whatever. Alright, let's open up with Lila. Lila allows us to pop one set spell, but there's no set spell here, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Oops. Well, yeah, I could've... Well, you should've gone with Gareth. Yeah, I could've should've gone with Gareth, but it's fine. If there's a set spell next turn, or a set card, it'll... Okay. <laughs> That's also why you should've gone with Gareth. He has 50 more attack points than Mistral's defense. Yeah, apparently. Milling, what do we got? Nothing much. Okay. Uh, you milk your Raiko. Yeah, it seems like it. But we will do stuff about that later. Uh, Shora, do we pop you with Solemn? No. Yes, because you know he's. Yes, because you know he's gonna synchro this turn. No, no, I'm gonna, I'm going to hit the synchro with it. That way you hit multiple things. Ooh, Silverwind. Silverwind. Good call, Bob. Sometimes also if you pop their key cards, they will actually have reactions of freaking out. It's kind of cute. All right, table is set. Please do something. Oh my God, Crystal Seer. Yeah, that was a card. Ah, uh, corn to MBT. This was like the thing that glued together a bunch of jank decks back in 2010. Yep. All right. Oh, shit. So Solidarity is not gonna work anymore. Yeah, it's whatever. Actually, wait. Oh yeah, Crystal Seer's in the graveyard, right? It's not a big deal, so long as we're as long as we're maintaining pressure, I think it's totally fine otherwise. Actually, Solidarity would never have worked. You have Raiko in the grave. All of the all of her cards are spellcasters. Oh, you're right. I was thinking it was the attribute, not the actual type. What are you? In yeah. Sure. Increased levels? Yeah. 
Huh. Up by three. I guess so. Increase it. Oh, you. Esther. Ah, uh, fuck. Okay. Yeah, Lazar's deck runs around Jester cards, and unfortunately, they are pretty stun heavy, which is a slight pain in the ass, but it's not a horrible ordeal either. Oh, Gold I didn't Star. know they actually Ooh, nice. made. I didn't know they made other Jester cards. The only one I knew of was Jester Confit. Yeah, there's a couple. Um, nothing too radical though. All right, you know what? Yeah, we're gonna get out of the way so it doesn't get milled. Will it do it last that long? Go. Who knows? But we'll try it anyway. Anyway, there one of these is definitely Venus Chain. <laughs> There's no fucking way it's not. All right, so what do you got? Grab. Oh, even worse. Oh, that's just funny. Rival. Oh my. Fuck you. All right. Well, hate to do this, but. Um. Uh, Mine or well, it doesn't matter. Hers, because yeah. if she gets future, because if she gets future visions, then he'll never be able to. S oh wait, no, Jester, Com Jester Queen is a spell caster. Oh wait, no, he's completely screw bone too, because now Crow won't be able to summon uh, lots of either. Maybe. <laughs> so I was thinking that we wouldn't have enough turns to showcase Judgment Dragon anyway, but that does not seem to be the case anymore. Oh, cool, that's all active, yay. What? Th is that you? Yeah, I'm not is having that it in her hand. hand. I, I'm oh, not... that's terrible. Uh, ooh, ooh, actually, does Lila work on normal summon or special summon? Let's find out. Please do. I, w I would love for that to be the case. Anyway, JD comes in. And can't do much with it. Damn. This card one lot monster. Oh yeah. I'm working nah, on it. Get it. Take your one thousand. Beckoning light, you're already there. Oh, yep, Next here we go. Turn. All oh, right. Get rid of gravity. Yeah, okay. Actually no, we're gonna hit rivalry. That way we'll be it'll be open to open myself up to summon JD. Summon JD. Immediate uh priority. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna have a million things to, to talk about with old Yu-Gi-Oh mechanics as we go forward, but basic priority lets you uh, go first always with um, your card effects if they're ignitions on summon. Anyway, we're doing pretty well now. Set beckoning. Oh yeah. You never normal summoned. You could have also set Raiko. <laughs> I could have. Yeah, you're right. I didn't think about that, but honestly, we got this. All Carl has to do is just pop JD and just swing, swing, and we win. That's kind of cute. Oh no! Don't have a negate. Oh, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Never mind. Sure, whatever. Up, oh, chain link three. Oh. Oh wait! What? She, oh, no. she's getting my cards. <laughs> Amelia, this is very fucking funny. Glow up ball? You have that? What? What the fuck? Oh no. What? Are you gonna eat? Well, you won't need to, I guess. All right. Again, thank you, fast forward button. And this is what I'm talking about with the AI it has no idea what the hell it's doing most of the time. It didn't need to do any of that. It could have just judgmented and let that be the end of it. I'm sure she was trying to set something up, but it's we won, so I can't complain. Anyway, yeah. Sometimes also the AI will know what what to do, and I'll actually use your monsters that you have on the field. Yeah, this is exactly why Life Swarms were tier one for a good year or two. They also do stupid things like get the uh, what the hell was the wolf back to the hand? <laughs> why would you ever do that? Yeah, I was about a bit, bit of a bad call. Unless you're desperate, and I mean desperate for discard fodder. Yeah, but her deck doesn't even do that. Oh, the program back. Oh, this is after he stole the, the, um, I think it was initially just like an upgrade from, um, what was the name? It starts with a B. Bruno. Um, initially it was just an upgrade set from Bruno, but, um, Iliaster had, uh, words, Lazar Antony. steal it so that way they can use it in order to fuel their, uh, future device. 
Oh yeah. I th I just I just default to the simulation game they do where they have the little chibi characters whenever I think of Bruno. Yeah. It it is pretty cute. I won't I won't lie there. Surprisingly complex too. Like it's um I don't know how long it's been since you watched it, but they, it does require some like good game knowledge in order to actually beat those.